Hi, this is Shanti Nevin. And after a very long hiatus, I have decided to share some of my poetry and works online again. <laughs> if you look back, you'll find something from about 10 years ago that was just awful. And there's a poetry bloopers reel that I leave on just to make me laugh because I was just so silly and putting funny faces and, and stuff like that. Well, I'm 10 years older. The date is now, it's August 20th, 2019. So that is a good, it's actually 12 years on from those original poetry readings. But anyway, I thought that I would continue to share because you know that old saying, if you fall off a horse, the best thing to do is to just get on right back on up. Now I'll tell you this, I'm never gonna make a good living out of poetry, but what I use poetry for is to express my feelings and thoughts and to share those in whatever way that I can. And so I see poetry a little bit like art or like painting. It is a way for you to put down your feelings in a way that they come out. And some people don't get it, they just don't and others do. But I think for the large part of any form of artistry is that if somebody's looking at a painting, they are going to see what is reflected of their lives or their experiences of this world. So I think my poetry is the same. You may find something within my words that will be meaningful to you, something that you will connect to and maybe you won't and it's okay. It's absolutely okay. The second thing is that uh, if we're going to get technical, I think that's one of the biggest problems with poetry is that people have this attachment to the technicality. So whether it be sticking to a, a rhyme scheme or a, like an iambic pentameter or having it be a sonnet or whatever, we tend to make kind of constrict... Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> See, I still get stuck on my words. As a wordsmith, I still do it. We, we tend to have constructs or ideas or rules about everything in life. You know, we, it has to conform to our idea of what it should be. So poetry has to rhyme or poetry mustn't rhyme. I've had that and purists are, are now all of the thought that don't make poetry rhyme ever. And now there is also this spoken word poetry and it has its own rules. It's just funny that something that is really organic and natural starts to starts to well people try to start letting it or making it fit into into a confined set of rules and and so i'm not about any of that at all you'll notice if you look at any of my paintings and my artworks i don't have a definitive style you can't say that that's a shanti painting i really am just very experimental and if i feel like drawing uh, or sketching if i if, if i feel like i'm in a mood for landscapes and and nature that's going to come out I, a lot of my work is on people. Um, there is a whole series of works that were done, which I called Dimensional Soul, that were black canvases and everything was done in white paint and it was a lot of the human form. Um, there was a lot of emotional expression within that. And then there was a time that I was actually painting children and children's faces, and especially children that were going through any kind of struggle and suffering because I really have a heart for kids. and. Um, that really is where my passion is and um, everything that I do that in the philanthropic area either evolves around or revolves around children or animals. So anyway, watch this spot because I have decided to once again assail your ears with my works and if you like it, just leave a comment. If you don't, well, don't leave a comment, okay? <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening and I hope that you will enjoy some of my work.